Do not buy these apps from the Microsoft Store, including LibreOffice Unofficial, 7-Zip Compressor, Putty, and others. By buying these apps, you are unnecessarily paying for unofficial software that will not work any better than their free counterparts. Let me explain. These apps from the Microsoft Store are actually repackaged versions of free and open source programs. For instance, 7-Zip Compressor sells for 99 cents US on the Microsoft Store. A quick look around though tells us that there are problems with this application. The app was published by RepackagerExpress.com. Under Publisher Info, there is no link to 7-Zip's website, instead having a mail to link to someone at Repackager Express. There's a privacy policy link that goes to a website claiming to bundle toolbars with installers. That's a red flag that tells us that there are issues with this application. So how is Repackager Express able to upload 7-Zip to the Microsoft Store? Simply put, 7-Zip is free and open source software. Its source code is available to anyone who wants to modify and compile a version for themselves. Repackager Express likely downloaded 7-Zip's source code, compiled it, and uploaded it to the Microsoft Store to make a profit. Now, some parts of this are technically legal because 7-Zip is licensed under the GNU GPL, which allows you to redistribute software without restrictions. However, if 7-Zip is protected under any trademark, Repackager Express is committing a violation by using the name in their application. Repackager Express also sells unofficial copies of LibreOffice, OpenOffice, and more software for an added charge. They used to sell Audacity before I and many others jumped to report the fraudulent application. All of these programs are free, so you shouldn't really be paying a fraudulent company to use them. So next time you consider buying software from the Microsoft Store, do some research. I know that it may seem like a lot of work, but a quick internet search should be able to tell you if you're looking at a scammer's program. If you see these, report them. It's really important that you not give an illegitimate redistributor money for free software, and besides, official versions of programs are always going to be better than these fraudulent clones. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you learned something, and if you didn't, please let me know why in the comments section, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode of Tiger Stick Tech.